welcome to electrical stuff to learn complete mav knowledge in this video we are going to discuss about power distribution system in building construction so let us start today we are learning here how power distribution system works key elements in distribution networks how we can draw the single line diagrams what are the load classifications how to identify loads and its ratings so without further delay we go inside the in details so power distribution systems what is a power distribution system the process of power flow from supply end to the load end is called power distribution system there is a graphical uh, representation of power generation uh, system uh, wait a bit yeah power generation system so we have a power station power station and step up transformers and this is a transmission lines then we have uh, distribution transformers and this is the loads so this part this part is called this part is called uh, generation part where power is generated and this is the part is called transmission part where the power is transmitted and then finally we have this distribution transformers and the load this part is called the distribution system today we are concentrated on distribution system so how power is distributed in building to understand the how power is distributed in the building there is a three step process first part is load so what are the type of loads we have a lights in our homes power power socket outlets and there is ac units booster pumps and transfer pumps where water is pumped up to our uh, water tanks and refrigerators we have washing machines we have and water heaters we have and various pumps we have for uh, our in domestic as well as industrial applications so for this all load we need source source is coming from where source is coming from uh, transformers or a generator where power is transferred the po these sources are from Alex electricity and water authorities or distribution company limiteds so in between source and load we need a mechanism to control uh, and to switching to protect these loads this part is called switchgear system where we can be it is a intermediate uh, between the source and load so then we can see now then the source then the source and to the load it will be power is going like this way and throw and, and return back this is a complete cycle so let us see what are the key elements in distribution network the distribution networks we have uh, first key element is transformer generator this is a source second thing is lv switchgear in lv switchgear what are the things lv panels are main distribution panels sub main distribution panels and mcc panels and distribution boards and isolators this is the uh, part of uh, switchgear and third thing is that cables and bus bars this is transmitting the power from one source to other source through cables and bus bars and finally load these are the complete key elements of distribution network let us see uh, how practically it looks like this we have uh, lights and the power sockets and ac fcu pan uh, panels these are our final load these are also called as a final circuit these circuits these loads are fed from a distribution board this is our distribution board then these distribution boards are fed from the submission submain distribution boards and these submission submain distribution boards are fed from the lv panels or main distribution panels from these panels are feeding from the transformers or 
generator. This is how power is uh, distributed in a buildings. Let us see. Uh, I I am extracted a beam picture uh, here. This you you can see here. This is over the LV panel. This submin distribution boards, and this is the generator. These are the various loads. So this switch gear units or this LV panels is transferring through. These are the bus bars. It's transferred to the another floors and another areas. And see this panel is feeding to this submain distribution boards. And this submain distribution uh, are feeding any loads. So how the power is distributed now you understand. So what is a single line? diagram a schematic diagram the process of representation of key elements of a system is called single line diagram or schematic diagram this entire process what i explain you need to draw in order to understand how the power is distributed from one end to another end so let us see in those details this is how the schematic uh, diagram look like we have a transformers and this is a main distribution panel from the transformer power is fed to this main distribution panels through this is a part of cables these cables uh, we will be again distributed to the sub main distribution panels sub main distribution panel to distribution boards let us uh, i draw for you uh, to understand clearly this is a transformers this transformers is coming from the utility supply 11 kv these transformers are the distribution transformers uh are step down transformers 11 kv to 400 volts is step down it is feeding to the main distribution board and main distribution boards we have another source generator source and we have a capacitor bank to improve the power factor of this entire system and then we have a ac load then we have a motor loads and then we have a lighting and power loads through SMDBs and distribution boards, how the power is transferred from the source end to the load end. So now we can see load classification. What is the load? Now we are saying till now load, load, load. What is a load? Load is an electrical component which consumes the electrical power such as lights and uh, which consumes the electrical power. And so what are the classification uh, of the load? There are the three ma major categories of load classifiers. One is the resistive load, example of resistive load, light loading. And inductive load, example of inductive load is fans refrigerator. Any, any load having a coil uh, that is called inductive load. And third is a capacitive load. Capacitive loads, we have example, capacitor banks and synchronous motors. These are the main three load classifications. So how to identify load and its rating? To design entire our process, to design and understand how the building, uh, building what type of switch gear required, what type of distribution board required. For this one, we need to identi identify the loads so this is the major and for most important uh, part so i here i only identify a few uh, loads which are generally used in our applications so lights we have this wattage is 100 watts and 13 ampere sockets a 13 ampere single socket 200 watts and 15 ampere socket 500 watts and fans 60 to 100 watts and uh, a 110 AC 3517 watts. Then we have FCU 500 watts and washing machines 1500 watts, refrigerator 1000 watts. These are the few general loads, what generally how the rating will be applicable. This, uh, then how to identify load in your home, if you want to identify, identify if you want to identify any load in your home, there is called a nameplate. This is a nameplate. So to identify load, we have here 
see this is the 5.5 5.5 kilowatts this 5.5 kilowatts is nothing but load this is how we can uh, identify our loads if you don't know so next it's next is oh, we have a quiz time electrical stuff quiz time so now it's a time to you people give us feedback first question for you identify the loads and its ratings in your home second thing led lights are which type of load we learn here what are the type of loads and how ratings are applicable how to identify the load so now you can answer the question number one with similarly their load classifications are three types we say resistive inductive capacitive whether led lights are resistive or inductive capacitive or or what else you can type on comment section thanks for watching in coming videos we are discuss about uh, how a single line diagram can be draw and what what are the terminologies used in drawing the single line diagrams and second part is we will be see the distribution board practical demonstration and circuit calculations and third thing with uh, this item number one and two and along with today topic we can design our homes thank you for watching and keep connected to learn electrical knowledge thank you so much if you have any comments please type on comment section and personally contact me thank you bye bye